Yes, student. In previous video, I told you that the glucose has one free aldehyde group. One of the evidence we have already checked. Again, we are going to check three more evidences. Evidence number B, C, and D. It is related that any of the aldehyde group containing compound can reduce phenyl solution, torrens reagent. Getting similarly, glucose also reduces phenyl solution, okay, to gluconic acid, and it also reduces torrens reagent to gluconic acid. It shows that glucose has actually what one free aldehyde group which converts into carboxylic acid after oxidation, or we can say by the reduced by the reduction of torrens reagent. Okay, and it gives the silver mirror test. Okay, so the silver mirror test is given only by what aldehyde. It is not given by ketone. Hence, it proves that it has aldehyde group. Again, we have one more reaction when the glucose is reacted with nitric acid. Okay, and heated. You know that nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. It can oxidize aldehydes. And alcohols that is primary alcohol into carboxylic acid so similarly when nitric acid and glucose is reacted it forms sacharic acid here what the glucose as aldehyde is converted into carboxylic acid similarly the primary alcoholic group is also converted into carboxylic acid this is the property of nitric acid that it can oxidize primary alcohol into carboxylic acid so here this reaction can be for two type of evidences. One consists one aldehyde group and one primary alcoholic group because the secondary alcoholic group is not oxidized by nitric acid. Now the third property that is fact to support that the glucose has open chain structure. The student you know that any of the compound if it is having aldehydic group and it is free in nature aldehydic group and free in nature then when it is reacted with HI now HI is a strong reducing agent so it can reduce the aldehydic group containing con compound into normal alkane that is open chain alkane similarly when glucose is reacted with hydroiodic acid we have checked this reaction in aldehyde chapter that it forms normal alkane that is what normal hexane normal hexane that is open chain compound so the formation of open chain compound shows that glucose has open chain structure in which there is one free aldehyde group and the six carbon atoms are attached to one by one in state chain manner so student on the basis of it it is clear that according to Fisher, according to Fisher, glucose has open chain structure like C double bond OH, CH OH, CH OH. Student, actually what? The third number carbon, this is the third number carbon. Okay, it has some <coughs> different arrangement of OH. It is because glucose is an optical active substance. Okay, and therefore here the second number OH it shows the optical activity that is asymmetric carbon. We will see in next video. So this is the structure of glucose that is open chain structure of glucose. Yes.